Hello and welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. My name is Crashy, and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming release of Junkertown. Now, Junkertown is slated to release September 19th. That's Tuesday. Everybody knows that is patch day for Blizzard and Overwatch. And well, I think I think it's safe to say I'm going to at least speculate that we're also going to see the changes and or rework of Mercy and D.Va. So with that said, I want to kind of talk about the potential implications. I want to give a little bit of speculation and my thoughts in general about the changes and about what we could be seeing once, you know, the Junkertown patch goes live. So first and foremost, as you can see here on the screen, I'm playing D.Va and I have to say, my initial thoughts when going into these diva changes was that she's just not going to be that good. And having given her a little bit more looking at and kind of the changes they've made to her whilst being on the PTR, I want to reevaluate that and talk about diva essentially. So diva is a tank. But she's not a tank. She's a DPS tank. She's a dive tank. She's meant to get in someone's face. She's meant to do damage. She's not meant to soak up a whole lot of damage anymore. She's not really meant to, you know, be in the front line and protect your mercy or, you know, protect your Ana. Diva is a DPS tank. And I mean this wholeheartedly. So having said that, I don't think Diva's bad. I don't think you can play D.Va the same anymore. I don't think you can sit back. I don't think you can be passive. I think you have to be a much more active D.Va. I think you have to take more risks with D.Va. I think you have to dive in people's faces. And that's not necessarily a bad thing considering the fact that D.Va was already being used in dive comp. But we're going to see some counterplay for D.Va. We're going to see people able to run Soldier 76 and Pharah against D.Va. And that's good for the hero and good for the balance of Overwatch. But I have to say, D.Va's not bad. She's not bad at all and if you've played her on the PTR oh my gosh you can get so many ultimates with D.Va it's actually insane so she does more damage her micro missiles are awesome flying and being able to shoot at the same time just feels good the defense matrix doesn't feel OP and admittedly it was and overall I think this is actually gonna be an amazing change for D.Va having said that it's just my thoughts that she's still gonna be good it's really hard to say it's hard to say what the overall message meta shift is going to be, so I'm hopeful for D.Va. This may not put her at the top of meta, it may not even put her, you know, in the middle of meta, I don't know, but as for now, I think D.Va is going to be a great hero to play. I personally enjoy her much more, I have a lot more fun playing her now that I can be much more proactive and I don't just stand there holding my right click or defense matrix, and overall I'm very very pleased with D.Va. Now, the Mercy rework. Let's talk about the Mercy rework because I've heard a lot of things and it's, it's pretty crazy how many people actually view this as a nerf to Mercy. Here's the thing, will you have as much instantaneous, easy value out of Mercy? Absolutely not. So if you're talking about the res, sure, it's a nerf to res, absolutely. That said, overall, I think this is a massive buff to Mercy. Her ability to have varying play styles has drastically increased. You're much more active, which is the fun of playing Overwatch. I don't want to be D.Va standing still holding Defense Matrix. I don't want to be Mercy hiding behind a wall waiting for a three to five man res. That's not what I want to do. I want to be in the fight. I want to be important. I want to be a high value target when I'm, you know, Mercy. I want to be an amazingly aggressive tank when I'm D.Va. I want to have that high impact without feeling like there's only one play style. Mercy can be aggressive now, she can play for tempo, she's going to play for tempo, her reses are insane, her ultimate is insane, and overall, being able to fly and and being able to, you know, utilize these, these new skill sets, having the tempo res, is just a lot of fun. With that said, I think that Mercy might release a little overpowered. I think that if you use her reses properly and you use Valkyrie pop properly, you're going to get four reses in, in 20 seconds. And essentially how you do that is you res a dead teammate, you pop ultimate, you use res again, 10 seconds later you have a, a third res and then 10 seconds after that when the ultimate is ending, you have the fourth res. And that's just, that's a lot of tempo. And it's gonna be weird to see how this evolves. Is that tempo gonna be hard used in dive and you just hard dive on people and spam reses whenever the dive comp falls apart? Or are you gonna play a very hunkered down kind of death body comp and run her in? 
I don't really know. It's hard to say. Maybe spam comp will come out. Maybe, you know, cancer comp will be the thing because you can tempo res your teammates in cancer defenses. I have no idea what the actual meta is going to be, but I think that regardless of what changes, regardless of the heavy meta shift that we see, I'm going to tell you right now, I think Mercy is going to be at the forefront of it. I think Mercy is going to be, you know, side by side if not, you know, more important or more <laughs> ridiculous of a pick than Lucio in terms of support. She's going to be insane. Tempo reses alone are disgusting. Her ultimate is awesome. The mobility, the chain healing, you know, flying around, getting some extra pistol damage, even though it's not boosted anymore, still super fun and super effective. So overall, I think the changes to D.Va and Mercy are cool. I'm a little skeptical about the changes to Mercy. I gotta say, I think she might be released over Toon, depending on what they decide to push forward. Once we see the patch notes, we'll obviously talk about that. And I have to say, this was a bit about speculation, and I brought up some of the comps that I definitely think we can see kind of climbing the ladder, but I do want to talk about Fair Mercy. Now, this isn't going to be very long in terms of sectionalizing this video off, but I think Fair Mercy could see a heavy swing in the meta very seriously and like i said i've already talked about spam comp and we've done an entire video i'll leave that in the youtube card so you check check that out if you haven't already about the spam comp including junkrat and farah and i think that farah could really see a swing in the meta now that said mccree's starting to see some more viability the changes to defense matrix will bring soldier a little bit higher up potentially or at least he's a little bit more viable so Farah Mercy is not going to be the strongest thing out there, but being able to tempo res and fly around with your Farah could potentially be very strong. It's already frustrating enough to deal with. It's definitely a hit scan, you know, issue that everybody makes it, you know, you have to have hit scan to deal with her. She's a very demanding hero, and while she's not the strongest thing Farah Mercy right now on live, it could actually be a decent counter to dive comp. It could be something that we see more and more on the competitive ladder. So those are my thoughts. The patch is presumably coming out on the 19th. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on those patch notes, maybe doing a video talking about that. So thanks again for watching. Please do not leave without leaving a like and subscribe for future content. I'm enjoying pushing out these videos and I'll see you for the next video. Do you feel your bones on shake? Do you feel the earth?